Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll explain a new functionality I recently introduced into Sparrow for data annotation and labeling, which helps to fix OCR errors, specifically related to uh, field ordering, uh, because sometimes for similar fields, uh, OCR output uh, can be different, the order can be different, and the field could be placed uh, in different order, and this could uh, create some trouble when you would like to do data annotation and prepare data set for ML model fine-tuning. So let's start. Uh, this is the GitHub repo for Sparrow, our open source uh, solution. It's under uh, MIT license, so you could use it in your own commercial products as well if you want. And uh, yeah, this is this is the source code and this is the actual application. And let's uh, go to the data annotation section. Okay, let's. Uh, close the menu and we go to ordering. So this new uh, new tab was implemented recently and the way it works, uh, you get a full list of uh, uh, elements that were labeled or annotated on a document. And here you could uh, uh, do one thing is uh, re um, reordering and another, another thing you could assign a group. <clears throat> For example, um, this one, item row one, uh, this is related to uh, to this to this data entry, and uh, you may have multiple rows in a document, and then uh, you could select and assign item row two and so on. So all the entries that belong to the to the same row, they assigned with item row one. Then this group over here is a header, and this is a summary. Uh, like uh, net worth, VAT, and gross worth. So depending on the document type, you might have different sections and you could uh, set up groups in a separate menu uh, through the Sparrow. In a data setup menu, you can set up any groups you want and uh, over here you can assign them to, uh, to the elements. But what I noticed often from, uh, oh, from OCR, you would get uh, results that is not properly ordered. So, so for example, like uh, for the invoice line, you may get description and then you may get some labels uh, return from OCR and next you would get, for example, VAT value or total gross and so on. So the fields that belong to the, the same line, they are not um, in order. And this creates a problem when you want to prepare data set for the, like mod for the such model like a donut for fine tuning, <clears throat> because you need to keep all the related fields together in you know, order when you generate later a uh, JSON structure then you need to wait to understand which fields belong together and it's easier to generate the output in this way. So uh, for that purpose we have uh, I have created ordering functionality so in this UI you may select for example any value like 825 and maybe you think that it should belong uh, sh should be in this position so then you say that, okay, I want to move it to position 35 <clears throat> and uh, we, clip, we click up. So it's being moved upwards and uh, now it's over here. Uh, it's being moved. So <clears throat> uh, yeah, and then later maybe you think, okay, uh, you should go to uh, position 51 and we move it down and it uh, goes back to the place where it was where it was originally in position 51 because okay so this is just to show how it works and the idea for this functionality is to be able to um, uh, rearrange or uh, reorder the fields uh, uh, and change the order that was produced by OCR to uh, put uh, elements in the proper readable order, the same like you would expect uh, ML model like Donut would return on inference time. Okay, so this is the new functionality. And yeah, another thing, uh, I also managed to deploy Sparrow UI on local environment, and then I'm using ngrok service to make 
the application accessible outside of the my private network uh, or home network uh, and this means i could host the application on my own servers and uh, allow users to uh, work with the application from the outside uh, for now i'm using a free and grok plan you don't need to pay for that <coughs> but uh, with free plan you don't get option to set a custom domain uh, and other uh, things like security and um, some load balancing and so on <clears throat> but if you choose uh, paid plan then, then you get all those uh, uh, features uh, out of the box from ngrok so it's kind of your private cloud uh, actually and uh, this uh, version that implemented right now i assigned it as, as version one because most of the uh, production functionality uh, is implemented and we are able to uh, start the next task and uh, go and annotate and label uh, sample set of invoices and uh, I think it will be around 500 invoices annotated with proper labels and with proper structure which could be used to fine-tune donut model and we are going to open source those annotations and labels uh, I'll post them on the github yeah and yeah this uh, application is deployed to also to hanging face uh, spaces uh, the only difference, uh, if you would access uh, instance of the application deployed on Hugging Face Spaces, then all the uh, buttons related to data change or uh, file upload or save the modifications, or uh, over here, for example, when you do uh, ordering, those buttons are disabled. And the same thing if you go to the data setup this new ui where we set up labels and groups then those buttons are also disabled this is done on purpose uh, for this public uh, instance to, just to prevent users to uh, entering their own private data and uh, keeping this data in this uh, public demo uh, instance of the application so you could view everything but you cannot edit and you cannot upload any of your stuff in this public application if you want to run sparrow then you, you should clone it from the github repo download it on uh, your own uh, environment and run from your own environment either from local local or your own cloud instance and this is uh, on hugging face spaces i yesterday updated um, the version with the version one and i uploaded all the uh, data set that we're using for the invoices 1000 invoices uh, sample invoices that i got from the internet and the reference is uh, on the github um, uh, readme file there is a pointer to the original repository from where i got the documents and as i said that we're going to annotate 500 of them for the training and the rest 500 will be used for testing evaluation and yeah i'm going to open source this data set Okay, so let's quickly go through the code. So under data annotation Python script, uh, we got a function which is called uh, order annotations. This the function is responsible to render UI, which I was showing in the beginning of the video, where you have the option to reorder uh, elements that were produced by OCR and also assign different groups. So over here we have uh, select box, for example, where you could uh, select the index where the field should be moved. And then this uh, grid component displays all the data. Right. And then uh, we catch event if the button up was pressed, then uh, we iterate uh, upwards until we, we identify the index that was selected. If no index was selected, then we, uh, the row will be moved uh, upwards just uh, by one row up. The same logic goes uh, down uh, with, with uh, option when you click down. So we iterate down until we find the index. If no index was set, we iterate just uh, one row down and so on. Okay, and if you go over here, then this is my um, another computer where I deployed the instance of the Sparrow application. If ngrok over here running and listening on port 7860 and you see this application is being used by now by now uh, by right now actually uh, the log is being printed and updated because uh, while we speak uh, we actually um, someone is helping me and annotating the data ok 
okay, and this is the application, uh, streaming application uh, is running locally and it's being exposed to the outside so that uh, other people could um, access the application from their own environment and I don't need to deploy it to the cloud, I can run it on, on my local, this is very convenient. Okay, so let's jump to the screen and yeah, so thanks for watching and um, hopefully you enjoyed it and it was useful. Uh, I was trying to explain what was what's new is implemented and uh, if you're also doing um, uh, data annotation and you're looking how to extract documents, uh, data from the documents, sorry, and you, you're looking how to prepare your own data set, so this should be interesting uh, to you because uh, Sparrow provides uh, all the functionality uh, which uh, uh, with Sparrow data and Sparrow UI, it covers all the functionality from uh, data extraction with OCR, preparing the data set, uh, then mapping data set with labels, ordering and so on. And in the next step, so it, which will be implemented, um, I'll implement scripts that uh, are required in order to convert uh, this annotated data in a format which uh, will be suitable to run donut model fine-tuning on a Hugging Face infrastructure with Hugging Face API. So thanks for watching, stay, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.